Hey everyone, today's video is going to be an update on my Disney 101 project pan. I started this a while ago. I'm grabbing a random, uh, or five random Disney items every single month. It's a blitz. It's a lot of fun. Um, I didn't update y'all last month because I was out of town. And I will tell you, I think I've said this in like every single one of my videos, but just to be 100% clear, while I was out of town, I didn't wear very much makeup at all. So... Sorry. Um, a lot of my progress that I was really like, oh yeah, I'll probably finish this in the month. Did not finish. But that's okay. I do have one empty. So let me switch to the right page. Okay. So um, before this, I had finished up eight of the 101 items. I have finished up item number nine. This is the Measurable Difference Concealer Collection. I had the shade Milk Chocolate right here. I used it as a cream contour. It's completely used up. I did like it. I thought it was a good cream contour. These concealers have really dried out because of this um, packaging it doesn't have anything that really shuts it down so I have decided to go ahead and get rid of the other 15 concealers but I did use up one so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that directly in the trash but that's exciting because that's 15 less concealers in my collection one cream contour finished up I did go ahead and finish that up in the year of 2018 so it's not counting towards my 2019 makeup goals but that's okay um so yeah so nine items down I will give you an update of the 16 items I still have in here and then we're gonna bring in five more so it's a big old project pan I'm getting a little overwhelmed by everything I'm putting in but I think it's gonna be fine I don't have an end date for this if you're like when are you gonna finish it when I finish up 101 items so we'll see how that goes but for number one I had the movie the prestige I did watch that it was great um, and um, for that, I have the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer. I really like this primer. It's probably my favorite. Um, if you can t tell, I'm right at the end. I had another primer in a different project pan. Excuse me. I finished that up. It was um, the Too Faced RX Hydrating Primer. It was really great because, y'all, it is cold right now outside, pouring down snow. It's lovely. I absolutely adore it. But I'm just saying, it's cold. So, um, I do have this. Uh, I've been having to open it up and swirl around so there is not very much left in here I am confident that I will have this finished by the end of next month. So there you go. That's the plan or uh, by uh, March 10th because that's when I'm gonna be updating y'all again. So next is Dumbo and for Dumbo I have this Sonia Kashuk nail polish. You can tell I don't have uh, that nail polish on right now um, on the if I paint my nails on the weekends, I don't use one of these three colors. I was planning on painting my nails before I filmed, but it's really murky out today, and I'm afraid that if I did that, by the time it dried, it would be super dark. So I went ahead and decided y'all would rather me film. So I didn't. I am down to there. I still got a ton left. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I put I have a lot of nail polishes in here because I can like use them and kind of switch them around, but there's a lot in here, so. I guess we'll just see how long they take to use up. Next, I have Casanova, and for that, I have the Poker Rabone One Million uh, Perfume. I do like this. It is down to here. Can y'all see? Yeah, I think you can maybe see that little line. I do feel like this will be used up. I am confident that I'll be able to completely use this up next month, which will be awesome. Another empty. I like that scent. I think it's a ginger neutral scent because um, it's pretty masculine, but it's still a little sweet, so I really like that a lot. Then for Alexander and the No Good, Horrible, Awful, Very Bad Day, I have the Trina Tarantino Eye Primer. Um, I don't love this, y'all. I really don't feel like it's very good as far as an eye primer. I have taken out the stopper. You can see down in there, I've been digging it out. I feel like every day there's less and less product in here. Obviously, that just makes sense. So I'm going to say two months left of this guy. Um, I don't think it'll be finished by next month, but maybe in two months it should be. I've been using it every day. So what are you going to do with that? Next, we have Frank and Weenie. And for that, I have the physicians. Oh, I haven't been telling you all the weights. Okay. So for the YSL primer, it's lost two grams. The Dumbo has lost a gram. So I did use it. You know, it lost a gram. The Casanova has lost two grams. And the eye primer has lost a gram. So everything's losing weight. That's the way we want it to go. Um, then Frankenweenie, the Physician's Formula Concealer 101. This weighs the same. I did hit top pain. I don't think I had that before. I'm working my way around it. I have it on today. I put it on wherever I have redness, so I don't use it all over my face. This is going to take a while to use up. I fully re realize that. 
Um, so we're just gonna keep it in here for a long time coming. But that's oh, that was a little slammy. It's not necessarily a bad thing, you know. You don't necessarily, you don't really want to buy products and know that they're gonna be gone in like two months. So I'm not too upset that that one's gonna last a while. Next for Rushmore, I have the Besame Cosmetics Snow White Cream Blush. I am pretty sure. I didn't check. I have hit pan on it. I don't think I had pan last time. I think I was just really close. Maybe I did. This still weighs 18 grams. It's the same. I have it on today as a cream blush. I don't have anything else on uh, besides that as far as blush wise. So yeah, I like it. Um, but that'll last me, like I said, many, many more months. I don't think I'm close to using that up. For Beverly Hills Chihuahua, I chose the Sonia Kashuk Eye Definer and Plummy Bronze. This, I believe, also weighs the same. Yes, it does. I got this much left not very much but I only use it in my waterline so I have it on today that's all I use it I'm hoping that next month it should be gone because it's getting to where every time I sh like there's less and less room and if I can't take it back out then it's kind of pointless so a month maybe two I'm gonna but then it'll be completely gone out of my collection next we have Howl's Moving Castle, and for that I have the Girl Actic Beauty Chic Shine. This weighs the same, and you can see I have quite a bit of pan in here. I've been working around the edges. I feel like every time I use it, I get a little bit more pan, which is exciting. I do have it on my cheeks today. It's a really nice cream highlighter. One of the only ones I really like and feel like it makes a difference. So yeah, big fan of that guy. Then... We have a Civil Action, and for that, I have the Sonia Kashuk, or sorry, the Sinful Colors Nail Polish in the shade Hottie, and this one has lost an entire gram, so that's good. You can tell I still have quite a bit. Again, this will take me multiple months to use up. I'm not sure when that will be gone, but that's okay. Then, for Outrageous Fortune, I have the Besame Cosmetics Snow White Powder. This has lost three grams, which is awesome. I use it every day, I have it on today. Um, I have all of these products on today and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to slip, throw some makeup on really fast and film. So I didn't put very much on besides these items. Um, but you can see lots and lots of pan. This actually gives some decent coverage. It's a beautiful powder. I'm such a big fan of this. Um, so yeah, I think I've probably got two months left of this guy. And then it'll be gone, which will be exciting. So I do have a lot of items I feel like I'm close to using up, which is good because it's a blitz. And whether I use up stuff or not, I, I had five products and it's getting a little scary. For Newsies, I have the Urban Decay Lip Liner in Ozone. Uh, this is a clear lip liner. Um, I've probably got, I have to sharpen it quite a bit actually. And I think I've probably got a month or two left because I know there's none in this gray part. I don't know how far down it goes. So... I guess we'll just wait and see how far down, but I don't think I've got that much left in here, and it'll be gone. Next, we have The Good Dinosaur, and for that, I have the Victoria's Secret Nail Lacquer in the shade Envy. You can see exactly how much I've used up. This, uh, I believe, yeah, so this one's lost a gram. No. Oh, I skipped one. So, yes, this one has lost a gram, which is really good, um, you know making progress but again it's gonna take me a while to use that up I skipped hello again um, and for that I have the epic blend lip balm and pomegranate this one has lost a gram as well so I've been using it um, I put this in here because I always forget to put a lip balm on so I've been putting it on in the morning while I do my makeup and I really like that so there's a lot in there though lip balms take forever to use up it'll be here for a while and for Hot Lead Cold Feet, I have the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. Oops, that's the wrong side. And I chose the shade Shattered. That's the only eyeshadow I have on my shade on my lids today. Well, this one's got some black. I messed up. But this one's got some black, but this one only has Shattered. And yeah, it's actually a great shade. It's a lot of. It's really like multi-dimensional, and I feel like for a one shadow look, it's awesome. Um, I do have a pretty big dip in it. Can you see that? I do. I'm hoping I can even hit pan on it um, next month, which will be great. These are 0 0.8 grams a piece, so they're about half the size of a normal eyeshadow, which um, means that hopefully I won't take as long to use up. So I have that on, and then I have a white uh, polyester bride as my, what do you call it, inner corner. 
and that's it. So then for Ernest Scared Stupid, I have the Lorac Beauty Beauty and the Beast Lip Gloss in the shade True Beauty. I have it on today. It's a nice lip gloss. It's really comfortable. Um, it gives a tiny bit of pigment, but not too much. So I have been using it again because it's been so cold. I've been using it quite a bit. And this um, has a lot, or has weighs the same. 32 grams weighs the same. So there you go. And last but not least of the items I'm already working on, we have for Avengers the Guerlain Meteorites Powder in the shade number three medium. This is one of my favorite makeup items I own. I can really tell a difference. It just kind of meshes everything together, looks great, gives me a little bit of shine. I absolutely love this guy. Um, this weighs the same at 84 grams. So those are the 16 items I'm using right now. Um, and let's go ahead and add some more. So 738 Disney movies. I really have no idea what I'm going to be putting in here, guys. I'm kind of nervous to add more because there's so much. And I feel like I haven't been making as much progress as I was hoping. But that's part of it. So let's just see what, what happens. Whoops. There we go. So generate. Number three. So we're going to the top, to the top. That is the movie Fantasia. That's a really good movie. It's kind of scary that like the dark, the night on Bald Mountain guy, he's scary. You have like the classic Mickey in the red uh, with the blue and white hat. It's a magical, I have no idea what I'm going to use for this one. Uh, I really don't. Um, I don't want to add any more base products. I don't think I want to do that. So I'm not going to add anything in that drawer. I do, I could add another nail polish. But I've got so many of those. Um, actually, I do want to add nail polish. I know what I'm going to add. I'm going to add the Sesh V Top Coat. I've still got a lot of this. This is not a colorful nail polish, obviously. But this dries your nail polish so quickly. I've seen a huge difference since using it. It makes my nail shiny. I love this. To me, it's magical, just like Fantasia. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put that one in. Next, I'm going to generate another number. Number 180. So for that one, the movie is Three Men and a Baby. That's a touchstone movie. I might have seen that before. I'm not sure. I can't remember. So a baby, you know, they're babies. I don't know. I have no idea, guys. I'm I am riding the struggle bus for real. Um hmm. babies. Three men, so like a dew product. I, I don't know, I don't know what that would be, honestly, but I'm just thinking. Um, let's see, I've got lots of cheek items, but I feel like I'm, I'm working on every kind of cheek item I could, and I don't want to double up on those because those take forever to use up. Um, I am painting a palette and I am working. I, like, I feel like every day I'm getting closer and closer to having some empty pans, which is great. So maybe I'm going to choose something from this. This is the Too Faced Clover palette. I really enjoy this palette. Um, oh, man, it doesn't. I was hoping for, like, a, a matte cream shade. doesn't have one in here. Oopsies. Maybe not this palette. Oh, no. Um, this is hard. It's getting like rougher and rougher because, you know, like I said, I've got so many things I'm panning, um, which was kind of the point, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try something from the Beauty Treats palette. I'm pulling out this palette because it looks a little bit like kid makeup to me, but it really performs so well. I cannot knock the quality. Um, and I think, how big are these pans, y'all? This might be a terrible idea. I don't see how much product is in the, oh, 38 grams, and there are how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 24 shadows. So, like, they're like a, all right, I'm going to try this nude shade because babies, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I, I really want a white, like a matte white because babies have a white diaper. Yeah, that's really what I want. 
um, but I don't know where I have a matte white in my collection. So I guess I need to find one because I, I do have a brow bone highlight I've been working on, but I think I'm close to using it up. Okay, white peach, white peach. That's what we're gonna use. This is gonna take a long time, y'all. Um, white peach because it is a white and like the color of a baby's diaper. There we go. Um, I'll use it as a matte brow bone highlight. I have chip in right now, but I'm hoping to have this gone within a month or two. So if I can have that used up, then I can grab it for that. We're, this might have been a bad idea to do this project, but it's fun and I like it. So we're gonna keep it going. It's just really hard. Oh, that's too bright. Let me turn down the brightness all the way. There, you can see that a little better. Okay, so we're gonna generate a new item. And we have 574. Okay, 574. Is Apocalypto, which is another touchstone movie. A lot of these movies are touchstone. So that's like kind of the end of the world-esque. So, hmm, if the world was ending, I don't know. Um, I feel like I'm going to end up with another uh, nail polish for this one, which I think might be a bad idea, but I don't know. Hmm, apocalypse. So, like, I'm going to go ahead and say, so when I think of an apocalypse, I think of, like, the end of the world, right? So there's nothing left, so it's all black, like this Milani black nail polish. Um, it's the fast speed or high speed fast coat formula in Black Swift. I have no idea how much is in here. I cannot see, uh, but it's pretty full. So there we go. Two nail polishes down, or two more nail polishes. So the fourth item, number six oh four. 604 is Race to Witch Mountain. Um, I have seen that one, but it's been a long time. Uh, it's been a very long time. So, mountains are gray. Witches have magic. Um, so, yeah, okay. I think for that, I might actually use like a glitter because, you know, Witches are magical and they have glitter. But I don't know how often I'll use glitter really, like on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know. Hmm. Which is troubling because I don't want to have something in here that I never ever use. But I do really like this. And I never reach for it. So I'm going to take the Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade ACDC. You can see there's a lot of glitter. It's kind of gray like a mountain. Um, I just never reach for this at all. So I feel like putting it in a project pan will make me reach for it. So there we go. Reaching for it. Done. Decision made. And last but not least, number 650. Real Steel. Oh, I've seen that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen that. That's like, it's like a fighting movie where like he makes the robot which is made out of steel, you know, it's it's uh, gray. So for that, I'm gonna take this guy. Um, this is a um, another eyeliner, so I'm almost finished with that one, but that's brown. Sometimes I don't want brown, and I want like a gray shade. So this is the shade Gunmetal. It's a Pacifica eyeliner. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna try to use that up. Okay, that was rough. Um, I hope that this is still fun. Like, I don't want it to seem like I'm not excited. I just... Haven't been using up as much as I thought, so doing a blitz is really hard, but that's okay. I'm working on 21 items now, uh, and I have two other project pans going on, so I'm really working on 41 items, though I did use up one, so that would be just 40. So 40 items to pan. That's a lot, but we're going to make it through. We're going to keep it going, and because I'm back home, I do think I'll be using up a lot more of these items quicker. I think I'm really close with a lot of these. So it'll be fine. I'm confident. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And I'll just see y'all real soon. Bye.